Hello everybody, today is Tuesday, May the 14th, and I just wanted to give a quick update on my eight week post-op follow-up with my surgeon this past Friday. Uh, before we get started, I just wanted to say thanks to everybody who's been watching the previous videos, those who have been commenting, saying that this actually helped them out with their decision to move forward with their laminectomy procedures. And also a lot of good questions were coming in in the comments section saying that they were at first a little concerned about how things were gonna be, after surgery, during the recovery time, what to expect. And I answered those questions as best as I could. Um, I just spoke from my own experience. But again, the one thing you have to take into consideration is you must also listen to yourself, listen to your own body, listen to your medical team, what they tell you, what you can and cannot do. And always make sure don't overdo it because the last thing you wanna do is hurt yourself and to have yourself set back from your recovery. So at my eight week follow-up, the doctor said that I am, am doing well. Uh, basically, I told him I'm still a little sore. Um, he told me that is to be expected. It has to do with the scar tissue still being on the mend. Um, he said it should last about another six to eight weeks. After that, um, it should slowly start tapering and it should be unnoticeable, hopefully in about 10 weeks. As I mentioned previously, I did have some fluid buildup on the incision mark. It did get pretty big, about the size of a golf ball, and made it uncomfortable to sit on the chair that I use for work or to drive in my car. But right around week four, maybe five, it shrunk tremendously, and now it's pretty much gone. The only real complaint that I had with, with the doctor is that uh, right above, well, I guess, where your back pocket is on your pants, where you put your wallet, um, right on that hump of your haunches. I, I do get a little sore right there, like someone gave me a Charlie horse or maybe punched me really hard in, in the butt cheek. But uh, other than that, things are going great. So about two or three weeks ago, my doctor gave me the okay to go ahead and start riding my bike. I had been riding the trainer about 10 days post-op. So I had about two to three weeks of riding on the indoor trainer prior to getting outside. I met up with my buddy, Brian, and we rode, rode up to the Snoqualmie Valley Trail we rode up to the Rattlesnake Lake, which is uh, up in the Sokolmi Mountains, you know, up in the forest area. It was a pretty good ride for me. It was about 32 miles. Um, I, well, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little, I felt a little out of shape. That's to be expected because I was riding inside for such a long time. And not only that, I was a little stiff and a little sore, but I just wanted to make sure I wasn't biting off more than I can chew. About a week after that gravel ride, I participated in the Tour de Cure, which was to raise money for the American Diabetes Association. Originally, I was going to ride 100 miles, but um, just for whatever reason, my back wasn't having it. I did 32 miles. I felt very disappointed, a little embarrassed with myself because I didn't get to finish the event. I just decided that it was, it was best to just listen to my body and not risk any type of injury. And I just figured it was easier to mend a broken ego than to mend physical you know, just any type of injuries I may have come across, but um, I, know, I have no shame in trying. And um, yeah, just uh, like I said, I'm just a little embarrassed that I actually had to throw in the towel. As I stated earlier, I've been trying to ride between four and five days out of the week. Uh, I've been joining my buddy Andy, and when, uh, he's an inspiration. One of the guys who inspired me to start riding, dude's an animal, uh, met up with him when we rode the Mercer Island Loop. I will put a map on the screen here so you can see what I'm talking about. It's always a great ride. It's always fun riding with Andy. He's an inspiration and I, I really look forward to riding weekly with him and hopefully we can continue that um, for as long as we continue to ride. I'm trying to get ready for some of the summer events I have coming up. The first being on the, the first weekend of June is gonna be Gravel Unbound. I'm riding 100 miles out in Emporia, Kansas for this massive gravel event. I'm very, very much looking forward to it. I'm excited. Um, at the same time, I'm really nervous. I, I'm hoping that I can finish the, the event. I'm hoping that I don't have any issues with my lower back during the event. I, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm super excited. I've been looking forward to it since I got selected back in January to part, be a participant in the event. So we'll see how it goes. Though I am a little worried about my physical condition and how I'm gonna react during the Unbound event, I am more worried about the heat and the humidity in Kansas. Uh, I heard it gets pretty pretty gnarly out there, and I've also seen some videos from past events, past Unbound events, where 
They've had some pretty gnarly thunderstorms and some really bad rain. I'm looking forward to testing myself and completing what could be one of the most challenging bike events I will be participating in. So we'll see how it goes. So in preparation for Unbound, Brian and I have been doing some gravel rides. Uh, I previously have done Rattlesnake Lake, which is just outside of Snoqualmie or North Bend and ridden on the John Wayne Trail, the Palouse to Cascades Trail up to the Snoqualmie Tunnel and back. And that's about 44 miles. And I'll put a map on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about. Well, Brian and I decided uh, we were gonna start a little bit further out. He started from his house and he ended up doing about 132 miles round trip. I met him along the way and I ended up doing about 72 miles. And for whatever reason, I don't know if the heat had anything to do with it or just, I don't know. For whatever reason, it was just a really difficult ride for me. I finished it, I completed it, I gutted it out. But, you know, I was, yeah, it's just one of those days where you're just like, man, I don't know what's wrong. I don't know. And some other events I have coming up this summer also include in July, um, I think it's the, the weekend of July 13th, it's gonna be the Seattle to Portland ride. Normally people do it in two segments. Usually it's 100 miles on day one or 100 miles on day two, but I'm gonna try and do it in a day this year. So that'll be a little over 200 miles from the University of Washington to downtown Portland. So I'm kind of kind of excited and looking forward to that. Also in August, we have what's called the RSVP, which, which is a ride from Seattle to Vancouver, British Columbia and party. That's gonna be a two day event because the, I guess the Canadian American border only opens at a certain time and it closes at a certain time and they don't, uh, yeah. So we'll see how that goes. And one of the best pieces of news I got from my doctor was I'm 100% cleared to do whatever I'd like. I have zero restrictions now, which also includes I can, I can actually go back to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So I'm really looking forward to that. I uh, don't know if I'm gonna be comfortable going back right away. I plan to go back, at least when I get back from Unbound. So as a recap, it's been eight weeks since I've had my surgery. Things are great. I feel great. Uh, mobility's good. I'm outside riding my bike four to five days out of the week. I'm looking forward to getting back to Jiu Jitsu eventually, which will be really awesome. So I can start training with my son, Zach, again. I'm just looking forward to getting back to every my normal day-to-day -day routine. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up so that way the algorithm pushes it out to more people. Uh, thanks again for watching. Thanks again for all the comments. Thanks again for all the questions. And it's also good knowing that a lot of people have you know, responded back, letting me know that they feel better about going through with the procedure and are feeling more comfortable and a little bit better about the recovery process. And also uh, just if you have any, again, if you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. Now again, don't forget to subscribe and have yourself a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.